There's nothing worse than the feeling after windmill. If you've never been to windmill, maybe you think we're exaggerating, but if you have been, whether as a player, crew member, volunteer, or a visitor, man, you know that the Monday after windmill is like stepping out of a gorgeous, bright, technicolor world back into dull black and white. It's like WandaVision, except uh, backwards. The people, the food, the circus tent, the games, the parties. Oh, the parties. Whatever you did when attending this larger than life event, either playing in the mixed division, the single gender divisions, scorekeeping, helping serve the amazing vegetarian food, or just chilling out on the stands on finals day and watching some elite frizz. What are your fondest memories? Let us know in the comments. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but, What's the story of Windmill? What makes it the best tournament in the world? Ha, <laughs> yeah, find out why we can claim that. What could you find in the team welcome packs of this Amsterdam run tournament that pretends like it's a festival? And what's next for the future? Hello everyone, welcome to Windmill Wind Up 2009, Europe's largest outdoor grass tournament. I'm Bicycle Mark. My name is Hilko. The Windmill Tournament, the annual ultimate frisbee tournament and festival held in Amsterdam. Windmill accepts 80 teams each year across three divisions, open, women's and mixed. I'll tell you what I've seen so far, Hilko, I've seen people playing frisbee everywhere. Yes. I wasn't surprised about that. No, you know, there's 75 teams, there's bound to be some people playing frisbee. The four-day event is loaded with high-level ultimate action and off-field entertainment that results in an unforgettable weekend of intense sport and constant fun. It all started in the Netherlands, with windmills kick-starting the country's industrial revolution back in the 19th century. <sighs> boring. Let's fast forward to 2004. It was called Windmill Windup. They had changed the name from Windmill Windup to Windmill Tournament in 2015 due to some internal reorganization, uh, but nobody really noticed. This meant that the legal entity, basically the tournament, started over, like a phoenix rising, um, like a windmill slowing down and then catching some crazy wind. It was back up, flying like a rocket in the wind, uh, you know, soaring like a, like a simile that got out of control. Anyway, some people call it wind up regardless. Windmill Tournament is hosting its 16th edition in 2022 and has promised to be back after two years of hibernation and marinating better than ever. The tournament is made possible by the amazing players that show up every year and the event is organised by the Dutch Ultimate Community, who continue to provide Windmill with the necessary energy and expertise required to host the event year in, year out. Windmill strives to provide volunteers and crew with a platform for creative thinking, which has been an excellent means for them to learn and grow and be better than ever. So young people come in every year into the organisation, then crew, and eventually as TDs. They keep it young and fresh, under the reign of a board with experience and long term vision. The mission of Windmill is to host the greatest frisbee event the world has ever seen, every year. For the fortunate ones that have experienced Windmill, you know exactly what this means. Windmill's vision is to continue to challenge themselves on how to improve in order to be the most well-organised, high-level, fun and sustainable ultimate frisbee festival in the world. Oh! No oh! Great job. What's your oh! Sustainable, you say? Yeah, no kidding. It's important to be nice to our planet while organising. Windmill strives every year to be a climate neutral event. They do as much as possible to be sustainable. We have a green battery instead of diesel generators. We avoid using plastic. The food is all vegetarian by default and it's also locally sourced and we carefully choose the partners we team up with. However, by far our largest impact comes from the CO2 produced during the journeys players and volunteers make to windmill from far and wide. On average, the 1600 Windmill players produce 500 kilograms of CO2 per person in their journey to the tournament, the equivalent of the weight of a full-sized Herbie. The organisers do encourage players to travel in a sustainable manner, but you can't simply bike to Amsterdam from New Zealand. In 2019, together with the Fair Climate Fund, they calculated Windmill's impact in terms of tonnes of CO2 produced. For every tonne, Windmill bought credits to become a climate neutral event. This money goes into several projects of Fair Climate Fund. The green fee used to be an option for teams to do their part and offset their carbon footprint, now it's mandatory. Just like the vegetarian food, which was initially just an option, it's now the only option. Go green, go windmill. All this is done so that even our kids can enjoy windmill in the future. So what's the deal with Herbie, the elephant? Herbie is based on a grey Volkswagen Beetle, which was the car of one of the TDs, and this became the mascot as well as an actual elephant walking around the event. We also have a female version, Herbette. 
So we need to talk volunteers. They have the best time at Windmill. Volunteers come from all over the world and often stay for several weeks in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. We've heard stories of crew members going out into the city for an errand, either picking up wood for the campfire or maybe getting 250 pre-rolled spliffs for the team packages and coming back, hugging everyone. So relieved to be back at Windmill because it's a scary place outside. Yes, even in Amsterdam, that beautiful place with the canals. Windmill is also host to the largest mingle mingle game in the world. Every year, new themed assignments are added. If you don't know what mingle mingle is, it's basically a huge mingle party where you have to find one or two or three partners for a quick body moving assignment when the announcers say so. If you're one of the last to find a partner, you're filtered out and you can no longer compete for eternal glory. Be sure to join and win by finding your partner in life and mingle mingle mingle. You're an instant superstar after you've won a mingle mingle. Should we stop saying mingle mingle now? The themes. Every year there's a new one from flower power to the Olympics to bank robberies. Yeah, there's a lot of variety. Windmill even has its own newspaper, loved by many and never really used as a wipe in the toilet, although its name might suggest otherwise. Find any toilet and you can find your daily update and rumors and also the weather forecast. So what are you waiting for? If you can't be there, you can still tune into all the live streams of the tournament. They are larger than life. And if you're seeing this well before June, then sign up your team or come and volunteer. Did you like this video? Are you looking forward to Windmill? Either in person or online? Give us a like and subscribe to be notified whenever we go live with more Ultimate content. We're going to have some more interesting videos coming up after the weekend, so be sure not to miss those on our channel. Now, mingle, 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 mingle.